Hey YouTube, alright, this is a really important video I think. It could save people lots of money. How often do you buy shoelaces that cost you a fortune? Let's say for example you've got these, uh, you know, I got some steel toed boots over here and these boots, we all ruin the shoelaces on them after a short amount of time. The shoelaces that come with these boots are incredible. They're really good, but what happens after a short amount of time is you've got this nice lace and then the, the sheath over the lace comes off. Let's try to zoom in on that just a little bit if I can. Um, yeah, We've all been there with this problem. And so you end up with this skinny little lace and the coating on the outside just ends up sliding back. And let's try to zoom out now. So you try to do your laces and you can't. You can't tie your laces because this is a big mess. You go to the store to buy replacement laces and you're probably talking $4, $5 for a pair of these laces and what ends up happening is you don't get these really good laces anymore. You get the really crappy boot laces that they sell in the store which are nothing like the original. So the way to solve the problem is to go down to Sport Chalet or go down to any sporting store, Big Five, or you can buy this on Amazon. And you want to go out and buy a package of 550 paracord. It's very strong cord, high strength utility cord. They uh, sell this in colors on Amazon. Um, make sure it says 550. They sell some really cheap stuff. They other people sell better stuff than 550, which is military quality, much more expensive. But I mean, you can see over here, I paid what eight under nine bucks for this whole thing, under nine dollars for 50 feet of this stuff, and this is what you end up getting: a nice package of paracord. Take it out so you can see. You get this nice package of paracord, 50 feet of it. And let me show you what happens then. So what I did is, my process, what I did is, um, you got to kind of shrink this. Sometimes you might have to cut it and spin the ends a little bit so you can get it through either the hooks on here or the holes in your boots. It just depends on what you've got, what kind of boot you have. With with my kind of boot, I don't know if you can see it really well. I've got a little eyelet. It was very difficult to to pull that this uh, cord through this tiny little eyelet. I had to use needle nose and thin it down a little bit on the end, and I pulled it through the eyelet, got the laces completely done, and then at the end, I don't have they they call these I can't remember what they call these. Uh, on the ends of the laces, but uh, you don't want this thing to come apart. So what I did with mine, and some people might dip it in wax, that's only going to last so long. Um, some people might crimp something on there, sometimes people will take cord and wrap it around, try to do a little knot, wrap uh, some cord around the end of the lace just to stop it from falling apart. Other people don't care. Uh, you can put some glue on there some crazy glue which should stop it from coming apart. What I did with mine is I heated it with a with a uh, soldering iron to melt the tip. And then I uh, it's very hard for about half an inch, quarter of an inch. I don't know if you can hear that. The tip is kind of like a like if you buy regular shoelaces, it's it's nice hard tip and it hasn't fallen apart in over two years. So the difference is that I've probably got about 25 cents, 50 cents worth of money into relacing these boots and they have lasted for two years as you can see because the boots look terrible. They've lasted for two years and they'll continue to last. They're, they're holding up really good and when or if they fall apart, I've got my 550 paracord and a whole package, probably another uh, 30 feet, 40 feet of 
material, so I've got a lot of money that I'm saving by doing this. And if you own a, if you if you replace your work boots, if you replace the laces on your work boots often, or if you have a lot of work boots and you're constantly relacing them or putting new uh, laces on your tennis shoes or other shoes, then this is a great way to go. Now this is kind of flexible. The original lace very flexible and flimsy, and it's a soft cord, very soft outside and a soft inner piece of material and the paracord is pretty much the same way it's very soft very flexible um, this feel this is a softer material this is more firm but these this paracord these laces have lasted like I said for two years and they're awesome I'm saving myself a lot of money so hopefully this video helped and hopefully it saved you some bucks and that is how to replace your work boot or steel-toed boot laces for next to nothing.